Hello everyone, Marcus Wolf here, welcoming you all back to another episode of Disco Elysium. I was using the metronome in, in the background, <laughs> the ticking metronome sound to time my intro. It's like, hello everyone, okay, and then there we go. <laughs> so last we left off, we finally managed to make it into the god danged harbor. It only took, oh god, 27 episodes? <laughs> uh... Probably 24, 25. I don't remember when I first tried to get my code. So, yeah. I could have been there this whole time, and I just got unlucky. But, them's the breaks for a game like this. We came across a magazine known as Le Fume, which, thinking about it now, um, even though I don't know French, Fume, it sounds a lot like Fume. So, I would assume the magazine was called The Smoke, which is why I named my, uh, why I named my, um, my last episode, Le Fumé de Communal. Uh, communal, uh, just by context clues, I think that meant, like, communist, maybe? So, it's like, the smoke of communists. Communists smoke. You know, so, it's like, I thought it'd be a nice play on words. I haven't Googled it yet, actually, to be perfectly honest, so I really don't know if my sentence is even grammatically correct or even exists. <laughs> I'm just making up sentences as I go along in a language I know nothing about. <laughs> Le fume de communard. Okay, no, no, no. Let's search this drawer. The file cabinet stands steady as ever, and the unlocked drawer slides out to greet you. I need... Yes, 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 shut up. I need to strengthen up my volition, and I'm pretty sure I can do that. I have tools. You give me volition. No, you don't give me volition. You make me lose authority. Does anyone give me volition? I thought something did. Apparently not. I am just stupid. Wow, I am just completely stupid. Okay, never. Oh, I still have this thing. The production schedule. Oh, God. oh antique bell margrave. Oh, damn, I forgot I had that. <laughs> Okay, I thought I had more volition. Apparently, I don't. So, boo-hoo, cry me a river. The file cabinet stands steady as ever, and the unlocked drawer slides out to greet you. How is this a 58% chance? Uh, no, no, how is this a 58% chance? I need a 7. Actually, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Okay, never mind, that is about... Set. Okay, I lied. I'm just thinking in terms of how much I have. No, in terms of the dice roll, I need a seven... Yeah, that makes sense. Whatever's oh, God. ...is hidden well. Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make sense of it. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. This is ridiculous. I noticed in this game... I'm making a ridiculous amount of my checks just barely. It's like even number 10. It, not, not, not a little over. It's just like barely. It's like, damn. Let us look at the note. It appears to be a to-do list written in large, uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes, special whirling borscht, water Everard's plants, sweet office floor, more banners. All items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. Huh. Interesting. A to-do list with some Everins for Everard, Kim. Everard Clare, probably. The head of the Debarders Union. One of his aides must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. Uh, let me see. Everard shoe. Special whirling borscht water... Yeah, nothing really. The special borscht seems a bit odd in the list. Yeah, that that's the only thing that seems weird. It's like special whirling borscht. Whirling. So something... Is there something at the whirling in rags? There's something in the whirling in rags, isn't there? Borscht. Borscht doesn't have to be a person. It could be... I mean, not person. It it doesn't have to be. It could be a person of a certain nationality. Someone at the whirling, who fits the nationality of the borscht, has something special. That is how. 
I'm interpreting this. That, that's how I'm interpreting special whirling borscht. Someone at the whirling of borscht nationality has something special. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes. Special whirling borscht. Water Everard's plants. Sweet office floor. More banners. And why say more banners? There has to be some kind of code here. There has to be. All items on the list have been crossed out and the note itself is crumpled. Hundreds of documents can and the same material you already went through all of okay, the slides. Yeah. I feel like that is code. Special whirling borscht. There's something at the whirling in rags. There has to be. That's the only way I can make sense of this note. And I could be reading too much into it. Oh, what's this? Postcard. Le, ja Le Jardin... Le no, 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 no. Do, do, do the French pronounce their J's? Le, Le Jardin? No, no, no. They don't pronounce their H's. Le Jardin... Le Jardin 21. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry to whoever is French. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Magnesium. We're, we're just rolling in headache medicine. We're just rolling in it. And this is it. It's glasses. Sorry, I gotta fix my mic a little bit. There we go. Glasses. Visual, plus one visual calculus, minus one drama. I guess I could always go for visual calculus. I mean... Where is it? I... Already have extra drama from me and a drama llama, so a little bit of visual calculus? Why not? Yeah, yeah, visual calculus, that'd be fine. So that cancels out, so it kind of becomes unnecessary, but that's just me. All the. Mm, no, that's just for conceptualization. Electrochemistry reaction speed, savoir fit. Mmm. Physical instrument. Eee. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there for now. <laughs> I'll look up. Actually, let me see my visual calculus. What is visual calculus? Oh, I... I don't need visual calculus. My visual calculus is kind of through the roof. So, uh... Thanks, but no thanks. Never mind. Let's take off those glasses. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's take off those glasses. Logic. Plus one logic, minus one authority. My authority is poor, right? Yeah, my authority is poor. I'm just going to leave... Oh, it's very poor. <laughs> oh, oh, God. We'll just leave it the way it is. Anything else in this beautiful place? No? Where does this door lead me? I have a feeling I know where. Uh, The door is locked and cannot be opened from the... Oh. Are you serious? Well, I have a feeling I know where that is, but... Doesn't this just lead to the great outdoors? Like, seriously. There we go. Like, doesn't this just lead to this door? Which is basically outside. I need a key card to leave the building. Key card to go in, yes. But key card to leave? That's... That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> it really is. Collecting rainwater. Uh, no duh. I, I, you, I didn't need a prompt to tell me that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I see stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I collect cans? Can I collect these cans? Uh, or bum hat, clothes, tools. I don't think I need the pry bar at this moment. Although, when I see potentially locked doors or whatnot, I'll equip that. Let me lock doors. Lock containers. Trash containers. I'll, I'll equip that. Can I collect these cans? Numerous empty bottles of Commodore Red and Potent Pilsner. At least three packs worth of cigarette butts. Well, someone has just been hanging around here, quite clearly. I mean, very, very clear, just hanging around. Yes, give me these bottles. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Oh, God, that's... Just collecting all I'm literally collecting all the bottles. Are you serious? Oh wow. Um sure. I did I did I at least did I collect at least a dollar from all this? I think I collected at least a dollar. Oh that's amazing. Oh wait, what is it? Oh my god. Wow. 
I collected so many bottles. I'm impressed. And it's snowing! I just noticed that. <laughs> oh, I go inside. Never mind. This is oh. Watchman's booth. The name on the door reads Rene Arnaud. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. Uh, Kim, if you don't mind, I'm uh, gonna take a quick look inside. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man is young, dark skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Why did you take that? The lieutenant asks, glancing at the photo. Uh, I don't know, but there's something about this man stands out to me. It, it's possible that it could be a side thing. Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. Uh, of course, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna have a seat and re I'm not tired. I really am not tired. I, I don't see a reason to sit and rest except to say, Hey people, I am totally not the Night Watchman. <laughs> Just... Just, wait, ba, 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 ba. No, 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 go back. All around you, great machines in quintessence. Oh, I am literally moving. Okay, you, you can run, dude. Okay, there we go. Wild pines. White pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest under snow. I mean, I suppose so. I mean, wild pines. So pines in the great wilderness of... Dead of winter alpine mountains, I guess. Can I... Oh, I can totally move around there. Wow, this place looks big and atmospheric. But it's kind of a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It is a... An illusion. Because it's very linear. You, you can't really go much of anywhere. It's just one singular linear path. And I, and I suppose that's good because... We did sneak in, so we can't really go to our heart's content everywhere which way we want to go. What is this thing? A rusting control panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked Mush and Aret are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A container is attached to its hook block. Aret. Marsh and Aret. Marsh. Like March. Go ahead, go. Aret. Like, to stop? So it is basically a start and go, uh, start and go. A start and stop mechanic. Marsh. On. Aret. Off. Okay, uh, I, I, w I was thinking a little too literal, like marsh, uh, marching, and that's how I got to, to, go so i was kind of on the right track a start and stop uh, no that basically is start and stop but it is more it's much better to say on and off uh, let's press marsh with a loud grind oh the shifts overhead moving a massive metal container through the air well that was not subtle at all uh Did we just create a... Wow, that's definitely very... Oh. Um. Is it falling? Uh. That looks very precarious. And with a surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane places the container down. That was quiet? The harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. The crane can rest again. Now that its purpose has been fulfilled. Uh, what purpose? Moving this container, of course. For this purpose, it was built. For this purpose, it has acted. And now it will rest. That sounds more like drama than interfacing. <laughs> I can't see how that was worth the records. Except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. It definitely was. Now let's stop it. The crane does not return 
to its original position. It does not move at all. Okay, fair. Something tells me we're going to get a negative penalty out of that because <laughs> someone saw that. And it's like, what the hell is that? Up there just moving around, doing some weird little thinky things. Oh my god. Someone just left a whole dollar on this dolly? On this pallet? I don't know, but I will take it. What is this? You see faded industrial lettering on the platform. Kvilsen. Whatever the hell that means. Can I... Can I... Walk through this? Before you stands a cargo container. Just one of many in the yard. Huh. Lieutenant, what are the chances that there's something special about this container we just moved? <sighs> Is this like your thing with that wall again? Uh, no. No, no, no. no not, not, uh, not that. I, it's just, I don't want to paint it. I'm just drawn to this container. There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? Well, it's possible that there could be some contraband in here. I mean, it was just hanging around in the air, doing nothing for who knows how long. There may very well be, but we are not here to look for that. We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to talk to the Union, right? Eh, true. But humor me for just a minute. No reply. The knot produces a hollow ring of metal. Doesn't sound like there's anything inside the container. You attempt to turn the handle to no avail. The doors seem to be mechanically locked. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. Oh my god. The isosahedral dice set gives me extra- oh, that's nice. Money is all about trust. I've been in the world for two days. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So if I'm in the world for three days, I get more- what the heck? Oh, um, well, five, six, seven, eight. I need a ten. That's a 25% chance. At least a ten, sorry. Can I do anything to raise my rhetoric? Probably not, but let's give it the good old college try, why don't we? Uh, happy couple. Oh, excuse me. A black and white photo of a couple posing in front of a ferris wheel. The girl is young and pretty. The man, in fancy uniform and smiling. On the back, a very steady hand has written the words, Revishal Fair, Summer of 91. That's so cute and beautiful. Do I have a- uh, rhetoric, rhetoric. Oh, that's minus. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. 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 Does anything I have... Ugh. I mean, I could... I could... I can always come back. I don't even know how to get back. That's the problem. You're back before the cargo container. Its draw has not lessened since you were last here. If anything, it seems to have grown slightly. I mean, it is not fully impossible. It's a 25% chance. 10, 11, 12. So... Yeah, YOLO. Why ah. are you even trying to open a door with rhetoric? Uh, because getting physical wasn't an option, which I think it should have. Because what wasn't an option? The, the lieutenant looked startled. Oh, sorry, like, just, you know, using my body over my wits for this door? Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. You can do that after hours. Fair enough. Okay, well... There might be something in here, and it's locked behind a very hard check. To which I was not close to get- well, did I get a 6? I, I don't remember what I got, I think I got a 6, so... But, I wasn't close to even getting a 10, so... What is up here? There are so many crates here, what is up here? Well, money for one thing. I don't know where to go- why is this all red? Why does that look like blood? I mean, I know it's not blood, it is a banner, but it just looks... Off-putting. What is this? This... Speaker tower is silent. 
There is no work to organize in the yard below. That's a speaker tower? Damn. The shipyard ahead is oddly quiet. The great machines are sleeping. The sleeping giants. Do not dare to wake them up or we will have it. Or there will be hell to pay. <clears throat> oh god. And there will be hell to pay. I don't know where I'm going. You see, it's... It looks so great, grand, large, and imposing, but it is very linear. The musk of oil and rust comes from the chasm in front of you. It smells like blood. Uh, you know, that's rust and oil. Well, rust is metallic, and I suppose oil kind. What does oil smell? Like? I've on. I've I've never worked on cars before in my life, which is probably a bad thing to admit. <laughs> but so I don't know what what mechanical oil smells like but i am kind of familiar with a bit of rust it's got that metallic thing to it so i suppose combined it kind of smells like blood oh okay well this calls for guess what where is it hello hello crowbar i have some bags in here right oh that's not what i wanted you oh i can just right click wait what Oh, uh, that's cool. It literally just cycles from one to the other. That's cool. You just right click and it cycles from right to left. So, dup, 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 dup. Oh, that's cool. No, that that is cool. That's cool. Uh, let's take that off for now and open. Fallen Ultra Series Gloves. Plus one half, half light. I almost said half life. Uh, I'll stick with the interfacing for now, because I feel like I can get more things running with interface right now. But, you know, thank you again, Dodo, for telling me about the, uh, the, the pry bar. I would not have known to use this here if, if you had not told me. That is very good. That's, like, a very good tip to have. Especially, like, during the loading screen, I saw that tip pop up, but you only see that tip in the loading screen and only by chance so you're not always going to see that you might see the tip but you're probably not going to pay attention to it god there's so much money here i can totally afford oh if i if i were able to come here i would have been able to explore get some money and oh god damn it i didn't need to sell kim's rims damn it god damn it that i'm, I'm still sore about that industrial size thermals smells like bur ew Burnt coffee, that's kind of disgusting. Oh my god. There really is a lot of money here. Guys, you're supposed to be on strike. How are you? Oh, hi. Plants are happy, birds are shining, every man is fed. The banner sags under the weight of rain and snow. White waves on red. Leo, Leo, Leo. Evrot will be pleased. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisunt on Moindi. What the hell? I never understood what this abbreviation meant, and I keep always forgetting to Google it. S-I-C. What the heck does that mean? Uh, Ubisunt. Sick. On Mundi. Like, what does that mean? I have got to Google that. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. The tiny man is so engaged in his work, he doesn't even notice you. Uh, hello, sir. Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? A shadow passes over his kind face. Uh, I'm sorry, but what is it with you people and, and, and scabs? I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know, and folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for you to answer. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. Eh, I suppose so. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing with all these containers? Oh, 
I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. He waves at the containers towering behind him. Uh... Can't... Sure, mister. Okay. Uh, one second. Bye -bye I I'm sorry, I'm just being so curious here. Can I raise my lot? This is so crazy. If you really were into min-maxing, you can go in and out of conversation. That really bugs me. And I'm not going to do that for every single thing. Like, quite, quite obviously, I'm not going to do that for every single thing. I'm just very curious if I can, you know, min-max it because I want to min-max this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could do that. That's actually all I- where do can- uh, where, where's my ledger? Ledger. Oh, ledger. Ledger of hatred. Okay, never mind. I hope this guy doesn't require authority. Otherwise, we're gonna be, um, a little bit in trouble. <laughs> uh, logic. Okay, let's try that. Please tell me it's still there. Oh, hey, mister. I nearly be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's like Lady Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building. They can only get so far before they're aching to get back. And lots of folk really did keep coming back. Well, um, when you put down a term... Oh, sorry, when you put down a person's name as Lady something, in this case Lady Larish, with bathhouse in basement of apartment building, yeah, um, yeah, they're definitely aching to come back, all right, and I guarantee it's not for the ambiance of a bathhouse. Oh, boy. Um, I have some questions for you if it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. It's like that old saying goes, wisdom withers if not shared, and old Leo is always up for sharing. A little bit talkative, but I like Leo. I mean, he really leans into his name Easy Leo. He's willing to talk. He's not, like, gung-ho masculine. And by masculine, I mean, like, like I don't want to talk to you or, like, like workers rot. You know, all that. So, that's actually cool. Ooh, oh, good, it's still here. Uh, here. what do I need? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. I'm interested. Interesting that it did not that it did not say I had my gla glasses. Oh no wait, I'm sorry, no no no. I was thinking about something else. I lied, I lied. Uh, actually, you know what, before I do that, let me see if I can get some more information about these uh containers. I just realized that. I can still talk to him. Maybe I can dig something up. Sure, mister. About what? Well where is everyone? The the harbor's kinda empty. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates. Keeping the scabs from coming in. He, lean, he leans in with a confidential look. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! We haven't worked for two months now. So no one is working? <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Everard is in his office, where he always is. And Jean-Luc is guarding the gate. He pauses to think. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble and Everard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. He stops, but seems eager to tell you more. Oh, so that roundabout racist man is Jean-Luc. You know, when I heard Jean-Luc, I immediately thought of Jean-Luc Picard from Star, from Star Trek. <laughs> no, seriously, I heard Jean-Luc and like the only Jean-Luc I know is Jean-Luc Picard. Hmm. What kind of trouble did Titus and his friends get into? Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's union business. He smiles and leans closer. Him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. <laughs> this guy is like, I'm not really supposed to tell, but him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much. He's <laughs> like a, it's a gossip. Oh, easy, Leo. I love you. I, I love your character. I really do. Uh, but what did they actually do? I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. Well, that's just how boys are, you know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I'm getting... 
I just had it in my mind and I totally lost that thought, but it kind of reminds me of some kind of elf. Was I thinking of the Keebler elf? No, not Keebler. But I, my train of thought, which is now ruined, did go somewhere to elf. I barely managed to pick out the word elf from that dead train of thought. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hearties. He looks to you for assistance. Look at him. It's not going to be anything useful anyway. Don't fight it. Better to go with the flow. Hmm. Oh, God. Uh, too rowdy. Uh, Leo, what kind of a fight did it get into? Did they kill a mercenary? Too late. Leo's mouth is still moving, and the words are spewing forth. Words, words, and look, even more words. This guy could go on till the end of days. Now he's talking about some drunk sawmill owner who... No. He already switched to a prized fishing rod he apparently owned at some point. You know what? Just cut in there with your questions. Can I continue well, back to that line of thought? Yes, 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 uh, yes, 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 uh, but what do they actually do? Yes, yes, okay, let's try this. I remember I was the runt of the class. The bigger boys always used to pick on me. You see, I had a bit of a temper back in the day. Flew off the handle like nobody's business. But Mr. Everett and his brother always came to help. Once they beat old Noel Becker so bad he needed stitches on his head. <laughs> Noel never started another fight with anyone after this. Mr. Everett and Mr. Edgar are real nice guys, mister. You should go talk to Mr. Everett. I'm sure you'll be good friends. He's friends with everyone around here. The little guy... <laughs> oh, the little guy starts coughing. Huh. Kind of interesting. Very interesting. You know, I, I do like his character. But I can't help but feel that... Um... Leo might be a bit... Leo kind of comes off as a bit innocent. I don't want to say too innocent because... Not like he's trying to hide something because I don't think he is. But... There's a kind of... Childish naivety to him and... Well, I, I, having been a teacher before, even though just for a couple of years, I have worked with special needs students. Now, I'm not saying my microphone is falling. Now, I am not saying by any stretch of the word, uh, it's word, by any stretch of the imagination, that Easy Leo is a, uh, is a special needs person. I am not saying that. But his character, the way he talks, a mile a minute, and he can continue... He can continue on the same topic and bounce and bounce and bounce. It really feels like his character is on the special needs spectrum. Like some kind of, what was it, ADHD autism spectrum? I don't remem quite remember, but somewhere along that, he kind of reminds me of that. And I like it. I, I really do. It's refreshing after hearing everyone be so serious or laid back or just like, I want to kill you. You know, it's very refreshing. It really is. Do you work here? Yes, yes. Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. I'm Leonard, by the way. Leonard Bellick. But everyone calls me Leo. The little man raises his hand in a welcoming gesture. I'm like Mr. Everett's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town. And Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Everett is away. <laughs> Actually, Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. <laughs> a good-hearted chuckle again. Who is this, Miss Beaufort? The lieutenant looks up at Leo. A real pretty lady with a skin like those Douay Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down besides the radio. I don't know what do is, but sucre is sugar. Som something and sugar. Cre cream and sugar. Oh, do. Do and sugar. Is, is that cream? Like, you know, like dulce de leche, uh, cream, uh, sweet, uh, sweet milk. No, 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 dulce is sweet. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I lied. Never mind, ignore me. I'm stupid. But I 
listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, that's great, Leo. Um, but who is this Miss Beaufort Fort you mentioned? Poor Lizzie. She is a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. Oh, her. Oh, god damn it. Elizabeth. Oh, my god, help me. He respects that word. That's obvious. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. Real pillar of the community one day, I'm sure. I beg to differ, Leo. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Oh, oh dear. Wow, that... Wow, that sentence turned things around... Turned the mood around very quickly, jeez. Dr. Lemaitre said so. And she knows about such things. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. He sighs and falls silent, watching you meekly with his blue, blue eyes. Oh, wow, that... That last part really changed the mood. Like, I was like, oh, God, I don't like Elizabeth. No, and it's like, oh, oh I'm so sorry. Wow. Law school? Could she be talking about the union fixer, a.k.a. the gardener? I'm pretty sure he is. So, uh, is this about the union fixer, uh, the, the gardener? Looks like it. I'm not sure what a fixer is, but she is a real nice girl. Smart as a whip, too. The little guy smiles a disarming smile at you. Telling the gardener you know her name might throw her off. Perhaps something to consider later. Well, if I came here first, maybe then I knew. But Well, actually, no, it was reversed. It was reversed. Never mind, yeah. I would not know that was the gardener if I did not meet her first and saw her true colors. Uh, by the way, are you Leo, the one who wrote the note to make more banners? Oh, yes, yes. I leave all kinds of notes for myself. That old head of mine ain't so good at keeping things in no more. I almost forgot about the borscht. Uh, yeah, I, I... I couldn't help notice that. Uh, you said something about special whirling borscht? What was all that about? Oh yes, I've been taking special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike started. <laughs> the little guy chuckles merrily. It's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. I feel like I could take on Mr. Renadam's boar dogs every time the lunch is done. Uh, what exactly do you mean by taking this, uh, borscht to the men? Is it for striking purposes? Yes, yes. I'm taking it to them. The borscht keeps them happy and in fighting spirits. Makes you all warm inside. They brew it in the whirling in rags. Is this... No, these are drugs. No, this has to be drug. Wait, no, no, the description. No, 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 really, I am con... Okay, I wouldn't say convinced, but it, I'm leaning more heavily towards the idea now that Easy Leo is somewhere on the special spectrum. He, he's somewhere on the spectrum. The, the way he's describing it, he, he makes a man feel so warm and happy. I feel like I could take on Mr. Reynoldin's Renal, board dogs every time the lunch is done. That sounds like being high on drugs, or, 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 uh, psycho, oh, I almost said psychonauts, psychotics, Jesus, sorry, psychotics, drugs, whatever. I was right, special whirling borscht, but in his mind, he, it is literally special whirling borscht. But the way I was describing it is like something in a, a bo something in a whirling t coded as borscht. That is special. It's drugs. It is. So, who's making this soup over at the Whirling? Oh, the Whirling's cook. He makes it. Them is always talking with Mr. Manana in that weird language and laughing together. He doesn't speak what we speak. He's from Grad. Oh, so Mr. Manana can talk with the, with the cook. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Maybe something to look into. Oh, sure, mister. Sure. You do that. Yes, sir. He didn't actually understand what you meant, and now he's just nodding along. Oh yeah, he d he definitely doesn't. <laughs> um, do you know what's over in that container over there? Oh, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. 
Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Told you. I mean, well, you never know, Kim. Um... If you don't mind, I'm really here looking for the leader of the Dock Workers Union. Oh, you want Mr. Everard then? He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire lives in this here neighborhood. He coughs, then continues immediately. Guys like Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made marginalized what it is today. Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's a, a, a great story, Leo, but uh, if you don't mind, I just want to know where I, I can find this man, this uh, Mr. Everard. Oh, Mr. Everard is where he always is. In his office, of course. He points to the two joint containers on your right. Uh, well, well, thank you. Uh, can I... Oh, I'm just what are you doing with the containers? containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. I was hoping, but it didn't happen. Uh, five. Uh... Yeah, I need a six or higher. What could go wrong? The containers oh God. in the yard are green in Wild Pines livery, and the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. Jesus, I barely made that. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I could have went without the glasses if the roll was still the same, but, man. I'm telling you, I keep cutting these rolls close. It's like some red infection was spreading outwards from the container yard's core. There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. Cisterns underneath the container covers. Huh. So, like, water systems. Hmm. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, Kim. Uh, sorry, uh... Oh god. <laughs> I broke character. Said wrong, wrong character. Take two. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, Leo. Has anyone told you why you need to change the covers? No, not really. Miss Evra doesn't tell me all the big things. Says I go and tell them to everyone. <laughs> well, it... Does. I, I guess they just want to make sure that you only know the basics. Uh, do you happen to know what's under them? Oh, I don't know, mister. They say it's some chemicals. Most of them have labels on them, I think. Chemicals. Hmm. And, 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 and the perception was something about sister, uh, assist cisterns. So I guess water cleaning supplies, basically, I, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Kim, kind of looks like a massive redecorating operation. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debarders Union logo on them. I guess that will make sense. They're striking, so they don't want the Debarders Union logo to be seen. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, uh... They, they want the union to be to be seen. Well, thank you so much, Leo. You have been very helpful. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. The little guy affirms merrily. Oh, uh, if you don't mind me asking. You're Ubi, right? Oh, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mom had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. Now I know what that accent is. It's kind of like an Irish accent. That's why I was thinking about elves. <laughs> the Keebler elf. <laughs> it's Irish. Irish accent. Ira-ish. Clued me in as like, oh, Irish. Okay. People say us Ubies are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Oh, well, it was a pleasure speaking with you, Leo. Um, but I'm afraid we do have to go. Oh, I was expecting Leo to say something like, Okay, bye. Okay, no. So, yeah. It's very refreshing to have... to After like 27 episodes with a lot of cynicism, political talks, and then like, I want to kill you. Like, don't talk to me. I'm a murderer. Haha. -ha, you know, and people backstabbing you with their intents leo i found f wow i can't talk leo i found to be very refreshing he he was the character that 
I desperately needed after like 27 episodes at this point. Like a nice breath of fresh air. I, I really liked it. And yes, all the other characters, like some of them did have funny moments and it was humorous. With with Leo, I, f I just felt refreshed talking to him. I really did feel refreshed talking to him and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that immensely. So much so that I need to continue refreshing. <laughs> Yeah, which basically means I need to take a break and get some water because god dang my voice is starting to go a little bit so mm, I'll see you all on the next episode where hopefully we will see Everart Everart something I think Everart is his last name I don't remember I, I'll i remember someday which is probably never <laughs> but yeah we're going to go through here and hopefully talk to the big man himself of the harbor later everyone <laughs>